this kogon grass. I had it on my uncle's farm. It doesn't produce burrs. Okay. Still some reason they were on his laces. They'll pick up hitchhikers in bank hallways. I told Finley the shooter was someone who knew firearms well, but it was more than that. The killer was a skilled marksman. What makes you think that? The second victim was sprinting away in the dark. Gun had a silencer on him, which makes even close range work inaccurate, but he got a kill shot. Prince of Joe's. Size 13. See the divot? Heard someone coming up behind him, tried to turn, took two in the head before he could do anything about it. The shooter came through here. Waiting for Joe. Knew he was coming. Two days ago, Moon would have been about 26 degrees further west. This area would have been darker. This is where he hid. He enjoyed it. A sniper shot from the tree line would have done the job with less risk. The shooter wanted to be close. Maybe it was personal. If someone takes your life, it's always personal. Tell me about Joe. Were you guys tight? Did he have a family? What did he do for a living? Small talk to see if I say something to help your investigation. I'm being nice to a guy who just lost his brother, but you know, now that you brought it up, you might as well answer my questions. In order, when we were kids, no family. Last time we spoke, he was working in Homeland Security. That's interesting. You think that this might have been connected to his job? Homeland's a big umbrella, terrorism, drugs, guns, border crimes. What department was your brother in? Don't know. We hadn't spoken in a while. What? Time passed. Where are you going? Find a motel. I'll give you a ride. Don't want one. Hey, mister, why don't you come here? We want to talk to you. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey, come here. We just want to talk to you. Heard you got arrested for murder. What kind of bullshit you bring into our town? There's two Sixers worth of empties around your car. You've been waiting a while. And since this isn't the most exciting spot in town, I gotta assume you've been waiting for me. Let me guess. Rich guy in a fancy pickup put a 50 in each of your pockets to take care of me? Honored. All right. Well, this is the wrong day to ask me to humor your bullshit. Hey! We're talking to you, man. Oh, Graham, you idiot. You're about to get your ass kicked. No. I'm just gonna break the hands of three drunk kids. <laughs> There's four of us here. One of you's gotta drive to the hospital. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> just rolled into Margrave. 